no more scarcity mindset. We are getting healthy, whole, and saved in 2024. What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree, and if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And today's video, it's going to be a car chit chat life update video. Yeah, life updating you guys about my life, but in the car. So we're going to do a little bit of a car chit chat. Honestly, y'all, I have so much to update you all on. I honestly don't know where to start. So I think I'm going to start with my, I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk a little bit about work and my career and just how work has been the past, I would say, few weeks and months because I haven't done a life update in a while. So if you're new to my channel, I'm 28 years old and I have my master's, my master's degree in counseling and guidance. And so I am a community college counselor. I love what I do. I love helping students. I love working in higher ed, specifically in the community college spectrum. And I just I just love helping community college students. Like I absolutely love the demographic. I just love what I do. I'm very passionate about the you know what I do and helping students. So absolutely love that. And so that has been going good so far. Work has been good. However, <laughs> past few I would say the past two months of work that's when work started to get really 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 busy for me and it's because anytime there's like busy season as a community college a community college counselor and then there's slow season almost like the same thing as like corporate I hear people say this is busy season this is slow season and that's the same thing as a working in higher ed is that there's busy season which is registration time you know, people registering for classes. So working at two different colleges, at two different community colleges, was, it is a lot because they all have different processes. And all I can say is like, I, I, w I was busy at two, at both colleges. Like I was like book all day, every day. Like once I stepped in the office, it was like, boom 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 seeing students after seeing students seeing students after seeing students like it was non-stop my day was just like it's full with appointments and then it's like okay you also have to write notes about what you met with that student about and it was just like a lot and then it's like a uh, different like registration events and different events and different things going on so the past two months of work has been exhausting and I experienced extreme burnout as a community college counselor like literally the past two or three weeks you know I was experiencing burnout right now the summer semester is about to start so the spring semester just has come to an end and so I'm officially on a little bit of a, a little bit of a break before I start the summer semester which is going to be definitely a lighter load of work compared to like the fall and spring semester hallelujah but yeah, I'm I'm not feeling burnt out right now, but I've been gone from YouTube and haven't been able to create videos or be, be in a creative space because I've been burnt out. Truly so burnt out from work. <laughs> and honestly, y'all, like if you anyone who can relate, if you are working in customer service or are as a therapist or mental health counselor or wellness counselor, anything where your job requires you to talk all day is exhausting helping people all day is exhausting customer service honestly any job that we do like that is helping people serving people especially like uh the uh nurses and occupational therapy physical therapy the health field higher education counselors like therapists like all these careers all these jobs are very tiring taxing exhausting like they're just it's, it's a lot on your body and as like a community college counselor when you are helping students or helping people from all ages who are coming back to school or looking to um, obtain a associate's degree, a certificate degree, or transfer, um, a lot of these folks are also experiencing a lot of issues in life and they're there and when they feel comfortable with you they share a lot right they express a lot and that is also 
a lot as a person to take in because you're like okay all these people are going through different things and you want to help them and so it can just be really tiring you know when I go to work I try to have the expectations on myself to really give all that I can give and that's because it has been a trial and error you know when I first started off as a community college counselor I have had a lot of like you know it was a lot of trial and error me messing up me you know not trying to navigate this new space as a as a new as a new be as a new counselor but now I have got it into the groove of things I have kind of came up with my own style I have I, I kind of know what works best for me and how I'm able to help people and this is my counseling style so I finally have come into my own as a community college counselor and I'm still growing and learning and so I know that you know those past few weeks the past few months has been a little has been a little crazy at work is because I also have this expectation on myself and I'm a little hard on myself to be the best that I can be and to provide excellent excellent service to students when they come to me when I'm helping them and so sometimes when I feel like I don't do my best or when some maybe a student feels some type of way you know like I feel very like I get I get I beat myself up about it and so that also led to like burnout and just feeling really exhausted feeling like am I'm doing a good job as a community college counselor am I'm doing my job well and so that was like mentally draining I was like mentally drained just from you know this pressure that I have put on myself at to be the the best counselor that I can possible but I have learned that I have to give myself grace so I'm kind of working on that taking that mindset and that, that perfectionism and just throwing it out the window and just doing the best that I can. It has been really just kind of exhausting few weeks and I haven't been in the creative space to be able to create content. So that is a little bit about work. Uh, but overall, I finished the semester strong. Overall, I had a few students get into their dream schools and they told me and I'm just like, Oh, it made me so happy because in the fall semester, I helped them with their application and for them to come to me and be like, oh, Miss Desiree, I got into UC Berkeley. I got into UCLA. I got into San Diego State. You know, I'm transferring to out of state to the school that's been my top school. That is was like, oh, it just made my semester. It made ending the semester on a great note, despite being burnt out and exhausted. So that's a little update about work, career, and all that. I'm just being content and patient in this season right now when it comes to my job as a community college counselor and just, you know, getting all the experience that I can. So now I want to talk a little bit about my health and wellness, so a little bit my physical health and mental health. So mentally, I have been, um, it has been a little bit of a roller coaster from feeling burnt out and being burnt out with work and just all that. I also been battling a lot with scarcity mindset and having a scarcity mindset when it comes to my YouTube channel, when it comes to just things that God has put on my heart and my mind to pursue and do and feeling very scared to take the first step into doing those things. And so my YouTube channel is something I have always wanted to create, something I've always wanted to do because I feel like I can make an impact. I feel very passionate about my YouTube channel. I feel like I I have what it takes to have a really great YouTube channel and to make an impact, a positive, um, God-led impact, right? And so, <laughs> it... You know, I took that first step a few years ago when I first when I uploaded my first video. Okay, but now it's being consistent and disciplined, and I feel like I have allowed myself to compare myself to other YouTube channels. Uh, I have allowed myself to have this negative, or the enemy, honestly, the devil, the enemy coming up to me like in my mind saying, "You're not good enough. Your YouTube channel sucks." you don't you know nobody's watching your videos you're still not monetized you know all these things do you even have supporters do your friends even watch you you know just all these kind of like negative scarcity mindset that the enemy has implanted in my mind the past few weeks and I had to like okay I rebuke Desiree you have came a long ways yes your YouTube channel is has, hasn't been monetized you haven't had a whole lot of success in growing your YouTube channel yet but that has been 
partly due to me and not being consistent and allowing myself to have a scarcity mindset. I I have had content, y'all, or I will film a video and then I'll look back at it. I'll look at the video and I'm like, I don't like it. I don't think no one's going to like it. I don't think people are going to engage with it. I don't look good. I look ugly. You know, all these things. And I'm like, Desiree, that scarcity mindset is holding you back to being consistent, to allowing your channel to grow despite not having, it doesn't have to be the best video. It doesn't have to, not every video is going to do well, but you have to be consistent if you want something to happen, if you want things to change, if you want your YouTube to grow. And so, I had to really check myself and I had to really pray and talk to the Lord like help me Lord not to have a scarcity mindset when it comes to my channel or to come to or for anything anything that I set my mind to my mind to help me Lord to have an abundant mindset to just go for it and not to overthink it and overthink it and have a scarcity mindset so that's something that mentally has been something I've been dealing with is overcoming a scarcity mindset to a abundant and yes I have always kind of struggled I would go through seasons where I would have more of an abundant mindset I'll go get a mindset and then sometime you know a month or two I'll deal with scarcity mindset and being scared but that's part of being human and that's part of having the ebbs and flows of life and so I had to check myself talk to the Lord journal and pray and I feel a lot better now and I'm just I was like Desiree take away you you can't if you want to if you want your life to change if you want things to happen in your life and if you want to reach your goals and have your best life and 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 to and you have dreams and aspirations but to be able to get those to be able to get to that point you have to put in the work you cannot have a scarcity mindset you have to have an abundant mindset and you have to be positive and you need to be centered in the lord every day all day making sure that god is first and not second and so yeah mentally that was something that i've been dealing with and struggling with but i feel I feel a lot better because I've been talking to the Lord, journaling about it. So I'm 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 still actively kind of working on that, making sure I'm checking on myself, checking myself to make sure I don't get in that space again. And which leads to my physical health. Working out, fasting has really, really, really helped me, y'all. Uh, maintain my mental clarity. And it has also helped me check myself when mentally I feel drained or down. Like because my physical health is improving and I'm losing weight and I'm having just more mental clarity and taking care of my body and watching what I eat, it has helped lead to me having um, have a, having mental clarity and also allowing myself to check myself when I'm mentally like not uh, not centered, you know. So mentally, you know, <laughs> I've been a little. Eh? But physically, y'all, I, it has been amazing. See a little bit of my weight loss in my face and a little bit in my chest area, in my body overall. I feel, I feel amazing, y'all. And I have 10 more pounds to lose to get to my goal weight or my goal weight that I set for myself this year. I really want to lose a total of 15 pounds in total, but I kind of to get I set a goal for myself by the end of this year and so to get to that goal weight I need to lose 10 pounds so I'm almost there y'all I'm almost there I just need to lose another 10 pounds basically because to get to that goal weight and I I'm so excited like right now I'm really pushing myself to lose five pounds and I weigh myself and I'm like I think I have three more pounds to get to that five pound weight loss by the end of June or mid June that I made for myself before my birthday and I'm almost there but physically I feel amazing y'all I feel so good I I have always struggled with weight loss I have always struggled with my weight and to see the benefits of fasting for me Everyone's body is different, and I know that everyone cannot uh, fast long hours or can't do fasting, 
but for me my body loves fasting it helps me so much lose weight uh, burn fat and I just love it it's it's honestly amazing so I feel incredible <laughs> woo -woo, I feel incredible I'm losing weight I'm also has changed the way I eat I don't eat a lot of sugar I don't drink soda like that I'm just really cautious of what I eat and what I put in my body and I am just so happy and proud of myself for allowing myself to go through the discomfort of weight loss you know yes I want to eat a cheeseburger yes you know and don't get me wrong I do allow myself to eat something unhealthy over the weekend or once or twice a week but then I'm like okay I ate something unhealthy I need to fast longer or I need to work out like you know four or five days this week you know, like it's a balance. I'm I'm having a, a balance of yes, I, I don't have to be super strict because I'm not super strict on what I eat. Yes, I eat whatever I want pretty much, but I make sure that when I do decide to eat junk food or something unhealthy, that it's not super like fast foody or you know, maybe I'll go to like a mom or pop shop or you know, it's at a restaurant instead of like going to McDonald's. So yes, I allow myself to eat you know some things that I want and not limit myself but I'm also like okay I'm also cautious a good chunk of the week making sure I'm fasting drinking water not having soda you know getting my fiber in and making sure I'm moving my body at all times so so far the the system that I have going on right now with moving my body working out three or four times a week fasting has been amazing and I still have more weight to lose it's really personal okay honey it is personal I'm trying to I'm trying to look and feel the best I have ever felt ever ever okay and so far fasting is a lot it's something that I can I have realized that I can sub, uh, sustain over time and it can help me with my weight loss and keeping my weight down so Overall, I say all that to say, physically, I feel good. Physically, I'm doing well. And yeah, overall, I feel good. So yeah, that was a little update about my mental health, physical health, and my job and stuff. And now I want to talk a little bit about my rebranding of my YouTube channel. And as you guys see, I changed my YouTube channel name. And yeah, so that's an update. I want to give you guys some YouTube my YouTube channel updates. So a few weeks ago, I would say two or three weeks ago, I was really thinking it just kind of dawned on me when I was listening. I was listening to Tony Gaskins. I always listen to Tony Gaskins. If you are a single woman and if you want, you know, to understand men better and relationships and all that relationship life advice and all that and just encouragement and upliftment then you should definitely follow Tony Gaskins because he's amazing make sure y'all check him out if you guys are ever curious and want to listen to him and he was talking about going all in for going all in are betting on yourself I think it was the video it was like bet on yourself go all in for you and pour into you and so I realized like in that video he was talking about like yeah okay you might work a nine to five job you might have a job that's like your everyday job your nine to five job but what you need to think about something that you can create that you can call your own that you're the own boss of that that's your brand that's your that's your that's something that you created that's something that's yours no one can take that away from you and he was saying how you should create something that is your personal brand like that's your brand that you can take care of that you can lead and i'm like okay when i was listening to that when his I was listening to his video and listened to him i was like wow that's my youtube channel like right my YouTube channel is my personal brand. That's something that I created. No one else can take that away from me because I created that, right? I created this. And so I was like, I want to have a separate kind of, I want to have my, my job, what I do as a community college counselor, separate to my YouTube channel. Like I want it to be 
a separate kind of entity, right? Because that's like my professional life, but also this is my YouTube creative you know, content creation life, right? Our content creation side, which is my YouTube channel. And so I decided to like, to kind of keep, you know, those worlds separate and to kind of like have some separation from those two, but still me, I'm still pursuing two things, right? I'm still, there's still part of me, the personal brand of Desiree, what I do as my professional job that I love but also the creative side what I do as my YouTube and content creation which I love making videos so I decided to change my YouTube channel name and so I wanted my YouTube channel name to be more attention grabbing and more just like kind of catchy and just like kind of reflect like the videos that I am creating and so my channel is all about growth and elevation and me taking you all along with me through these different stages of life and the things that I have learned and just you know I'm constantly and continually growing and elevating and I'm learning so many lessons along the way and so I want to encourage and uplift other people while I'm learning these lessons and you know sharing them with you and hopefully in hopes that it would encourage and uplift you and part of your growth and elevation season and so are you while you're growing and elevating also and so I was like through the lens of Des is like through my lens of my life, right? Through the lens of my experience, through the lens of me going through the, these different things and obstacles, I can give you guys advice. I can share the things that I have learned to be able to help you guys if you're going through the same situation. So I'm giving lifestyle content, but I'm also giving self-improvement, productivity advice, um, growth advice, elevating advice, and I feel like through the lens of Des, it's just perfect because that's exactly <laughs> it's through my lens, it's through my life, through the my life my life lessons and the things that have grown have gone through. But it's through my lens, it's through my life, and because of what I went through or whatever I've been through, I'm able to share it with you guys in hopes that I can give you guys advice if you're going through the same things or the same situation. So yeah, my name is my name to my YouTube channel now is through the lens of Des, and I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. And I'm so glad that I came up with this name. I'm so glad. Shout out to my friend Leticia because I literally was like, "Hey, do you like this?" name I, I want, only wanted to ask one person because I'm like I, I'm trying to get in the habit of not trying to get everybody opinion but if it feels good to me then just go with it and I was like let me just ask one person let me ask her because I was at work and it just kind of dawned on me the name and she was like yes I absolutely love that name through the lens of death she says catchy is cute I love it I was like perfect <laughs> so now, as we speak, I'm currently going on, I'm currently working on a rebranding of my channel. So new channel banner, new intro, new end screen. And so I'm working with a, another, I don't know what you call it, like a graphic designer, a person who does this type of stuff on YouTube, channel banners and logos and different things. I just created a Pinterest board last night, a Pinterest board for inspo for my YouTube channel and the vibe that I want, the colors and all that, and just an inspo board. She told me to create one. I created one. I did that last night. It is so cute, y'all. It's so cute. So I have to show you guys that in another video of my kind of like Pinterest board. But yeah, I'm just super excited. I'm super excited because I needed to rebrand my YouTube channel so I can feel like excited about my YouTube channel again, making videos. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So that is a huge update and I wanted to tell you guys that. But yeah, y'all, I'm super excited for this rebranding of my YouTube channel. I, she's currently working on it now, so I don't know how long, like, probably the changes won't really happen until probably another two or three weeks from now, but that's okay. I told myself I'm still going to be pushing out videos and we're still going to be rocking with it until I make those changes, but I'm super excited to just rebrand and do, like, a face uplift to my YouTube channel, and I'm, yeah, I'm just really excited, so... I feel like I'm in a good creative space now, now that work has died down, now that I'm not burnt out and exhausted. 
And I just feel like I'm just in a season of my life where now that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to be 29 um, next month on the 29th is going to be my golden birthday, June 29th, turning 29 on the 29th. And this season of my life, I, I really am going all in on me, working on me in all areas of my life. And Tony Gaskins on his YouTube channel, he always talks about the three B's brain business and body like do you have are you working on your brain are you working on education do you have a degree what are you working on to elevate your mind or to to learn about something that you need to work on or you need to learn about like you know different things like that so your brain what about your business your business can be your youtube channel your business can be your job like how are you elevating yourself in your professional career? Are you feel stagnant? Do you feel like you need a new job? Then work on that, right? So what what is professionally business-wise that you need to work on to elevate yourself and to get to where you're trying to go? And thirdly, and most importantly, your body. How are you taking care of yourself? Are you eating right? Are you working out? Are you exercising? Are you going to the doctor are you going to get your annual like blood tests and exams and tests on your body to make sure that you're good? Do you need to lose weight? Are you overweight? What do you need to do to work on yourself to better yourself so you can be the best version of yourself? And that's where I'm at. I'm in a season of elevation. I don't I'm not trying I'm not the same desert I was a few years ago last year. You know, I'm always constantly trying to elevate and grow myself. And so I'm in this season of if I want things to change in my life, I have to put in the work. I got to go all in. I got to bet on me. I got to go all in on me. I no more scarcity mindset, no more staying stagnant. It's time to go all in. And that's where I'm at, y'all. That's where I'm at. I was down. <laughs> Okay, a few days ago or a few weeks ago, not a few days ago, I was down for a few weeks. I was burnt out, exhausted, tired, and just lost and confused. But God said, honey, get back up and let's go, let's go get it. And so that's where I'm at. And that's where I'm at. And I want to encourage y'all, it's time to step it up. It's time to work towards your goals and your dreams. No more scarcity mindset. We are getting healthy, whole, and saved in 2024. Okay, can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> I have a new Instagram, so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'll put it here in the link below. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick life little update in the car, a little car chit chat. And yeah, y'all, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if anything I said resonated with you. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.